Hey there, fire signs. Welcome to your financial reading for the rest of September, the second half here. Uh, next month, I will be doing these separate, so I will be separating out the signs, but uh, due to time, I just have to do these together for this month just to get them out. But let's see what is going on for fire signs at this time. And uh, second chances financially, new opportunities as well. You're actually the only sign, the only element that has had a different reading. Uh, everybody else has had the same stuff, but you have different stuff coming up here, which is nice. Uh, you start off with the Ace of Clubs. I'm going to be, by the way, I'm going to be doing an, a pick card reading at the end of this reading. So uh, card one, two, and three, and I've already shuffled the deck. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but you have the Ace of Clubs, card of raw intelligence. You have both good cards as far as I'm concerned the two best cards you have this card and you have the ten of clubs uh, to me they're both like the best cards you can get in a reading especially financial reading this is a card of things kind of culminating things coming full circle for you at this time financially and I do feel like there's a lot of stuff kind of a lot of closure financially as well as what I'm getting so you could be like clearing up past difficulties with finances or you could be just you know kind of reaching the top at this time uh, next you have the three of clubs second chances i feel like some of you will feel like you have a second chance financially for some of you i feel like it'll happen now for others i feel like it's like the beginning of the year so it might be a few months away before you kind of really feel like think you're getting this financial second chance but it is coming and I really like that for you as well. Uh, that's really all I'm getting off of that. So we're going to move on. Next, Nine of Hearts, Card of Wishes, Card of Victory as well. Uh, the only This is the only thing you have in common with the other signs. Uh, this is a card of moving. So some of you might be thinking about a move financially. I do feel like that would be very beneficial. It seemed like it, it came up for every single sign, some sort of move. So I would say that could be beneficial to you. It's also a card of just getting a wish, just getting something you wish for financially. Uh, so I like to see that. Next, you have the Seven of Clubs, Escaping from Prison. Again, most fire signs have been, if you've had it difficult financially, it's probably been a very long time. So I feel like you're finally realizing it, what you need to do to get out of this situation, and uh, you're seeing success. In some card reading systems, um, this card is a card of business success. So if you have a business, this could be really good for you. It can also represent a, just an unexpected change, some sort of fast-moving opportunity in business or work or investments, whatever it is that you do, uh, even if you're retired. Again, there could be some sort of random financial opportunity for you. I do feel like you should jump on this opportunity. Uh, now that I think about it, I feel like this has come up for a lot of you uh, fire signs in like the daily readings that I do that there could be some sort of opportunity that's coming up in the future that, you know, I feel like you're a little hesitant about it. I feel like you don't want to jump right into it, but I think you should. You know, I think that you should just jump right into whatever the new opportunity is. Again, I feel like this is what it's going to lead to. Ten of Clubs, leaps and bounds of success. You know, having some sort of huge jump forward, being able to leave behind some sort of huge negative financial thing. This is a really good card. This is a great card for contracts, new jobs, new businesses, more money, educational opportunities. This card says if you're learning something new, you could make more money. This card also asks you to learn something new. It says if you're trying to improve your business, just learn something new. If you're in school, really good card. It says what you are learning will be profitable for you. What you are training on will make you more money in the future. So I definitely really like to see that card for you. Next, you have the Queen of Diamonds. Now, this card says do what is new, do what is different always comes up for fire signs needing to pick the new path i feel like there are a lot of new paths again i do feel like there is some sort of hesitation for some of you where you could be like thinking like do i do this do i not do this um, and I, this card says yes do it pick the new path it's also a card of harvest so i feel like again ten of clubs card of harvest so i feel like there's a lot of harvest energy for you at this time a lot of energy for you to kind of reap some rewards and i really again really like to see that for you as well uh, next you have the six of hearts a turnaround being able to do something you've wanted to do, but maybe you haven't been able to do it. This card says there will be a turnaround in the energy. Things are kind of lifting, and you will be able to move forward at this time. It's also another wish card, kind of. It's called the star in the Lenormand card reading system. And so, again, it can represent a wish, getting something you wish for financially, or getting something you want. And finally, seven of, seven of spades, let go of those fears. Again, let go of those fears of doing something new. Let go of those fears of like, you know, holding, that are holding you back or let go of those questions is what this card says. I also feel like there could be some communication for some of you. Um, again, there could be some sort of letter coming in the mail. I feel like this is a card called the letter. So it could represent a letter or, and you have a lot of communication cards here. So there might be a lot of back and forth and negotiating. I would say, actually, you have really, really good negotiation cards. If you're like trying to buy a car, a house, uh, anything, or just negotiating a contract or a new job, and now is the time to do it. Six of hearts, card of negotiation. So I feel like there's a lot of opportunity for you to grow or get more or pay less on something with these cards. So uh, that looks really good to me. 
Uh, but again, we are going to do a pick a card. I already shuffled this deck. And uh, card number one, if you pick card number one, again, I'm doing one, two, and three. Uh, you have the hangman. So again, this is you being in limbo, kind of waiting for something to happen. I do feel like if you pick this card, it's like you got to get going. I feel like it's saying you, it's time for you to move on is what I feel in this card. Uh, and you've been waiting for a long time. I also feel like for some of you, again, this is something coming in. I feel like you have been waiting for a long time. I feel like that's what this card is saying. It's like saying you have been in limbo. You have been waiting. And now things are starting to change for you. Now things are starting to get better. So I like to see that. Next, card number two, we have the three swords. This came up for three of the elements. Crazy. I feel like for you, this is saying you'll keep it positive. I feel like it's saying don't get stuck in that negative. Those two sevens you had. You know, it says keep thing, keep your thoughts positive, keep your thoughts on the future, and keep your thoughts on, you know, something new being really good for you as well. I feel like some of you, I mean, literally, you know, your emotions could be deeply tied to finances. And, you know, that has probably been difficult over the past few years. And this card is saying, you know, it's time to think positive. And finally, uh, we have the Four of Cups. And somebody else had this card as well. A uh, card of some sort of opportunity coming in for you here. I feel like somebody's offering you an opportunity to work. But again, I feel like you're thinking about it. You know, we talked about this in the reading. It's like you're just sitting there thinking about it. I feel like you need to open up to these new opportunities. I actually do want to get one just general card for all of you. So again, this isn't going to be a pick a card. This is just for fire signs in general. Here, Queen of Cups, uh, opportunity, exactly what I just said. This card says trust your intuition as well. Trust your feelings on something as far as finances are concerned. Six of Cups, same thing. Some of you could be thinking about the past or just hoping for something better in the future. And I feel like it's coming in for you, but you have to accept this new offer that's coming in. So I like what I see for you. I, you know, I have, I have no worries about you, fire signs. So thank you for watching and enjoy your month.